ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على أوصياء نبيك وخلفائه وأهل بيته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سقى نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمر On the 11th of this month, the month of Dil Qa'da, we witness the birthday, the anniversary of the birthday of one of the great personalities of the history of mankind and one of the successors and descendants of the Prophet and the Imam of Ahlul Bayt and that is the 8th Imam, Al-Imam Abu Al-Hasan Ali ibn Musa Rida alayhi salatu wa salam. This Imam left behind him a treasure trove of ma'rifah, knowledge, wisdom, hikmah and of course a very short life, only 55 years, but full of achievements and givings and contributions and sacrifice. He has a hadith I selected. He has a numerous hadith, but one of them that applies to us and our daily life here. Those who subscribe to this tradition, to this school. I always say the followers of Ahlul Bayt have to be different from others. I don't say that arrogantly. No, not because of arrogance. But because I believe when you follow someone great, you have to learn that greatness from him. Otherwise, why, why should we follow? Why wasting time? Ahlul Bayt are different. Imam al-Sadiq is different from other Imams. Imam al-Baqir is different. Imam al-Rida is different. They are human beings, but divinely inspired. The same way that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our great messenger, is inspired by Allah, the Prophet Muhammad did not bury this knowledge with him when he died. He transferred this knowledge to his family, to Ahlul Bayt, to the Imams. Knowledge is never buried. The, the body of the Prophet was buried. His knowledge, his legacy, his spirit continues through his children. Amir al-Mu'mineen, who is the gate of his knowledge, from Amir al-Mu'mineen to Fatima al-Zahra, to Imam Hassan Hussein, Ali ibn Hussein, Muhammad ibn Ali, Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn Sadiq, Musa ibn Ja'far, this eighth Imam, Ali ibn Musa Rida, till the last Imam. Otherwise, Allah would not waste his, his, his time sending messengers one after the other and when one of them dies, Allah says, okay, today I quit my work. Leave people enjoying life. No message, no guidance, no hidayah. Allah do, does not do this. The message of guidance, the responsibility of guidance continues. Continues. How many presidents we have in America? This is our 43rd or 42nd? Who knows? MashaAllah, you are good at American history. 44th? This is the 44th. And the president, presidency of the dunya of a country called America is going to continue. The presidency of, presidency of God does not continue. 
it will cease when the prophet dies, the president dies. We have to use aql here, aql. The presidency of God, the khilafa, khilafatullah, inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa, continues, continues. But through not someone who comes and nominates himself, he doesn't know what he's talking about, like Donald Trump, he wants to be the president of America. Allah says, no, I select. Trust my wisdom, trust my firmness, my justice, I will select the noble ones. In Allah astafa, astafa, in the Quran. The Quran is all about Shia. From cover to cover, the Quran supports the theory of Ahlul Bayt. But we need the aql to read it. In Allah astafa, Adam, wa Nuhan, wa ala Ibrahim, wa ala Imran, ala al alami what do you want more than this? Allah says, I select. I choose noble ones. I make them leaders. You have to accept them. Don't defy them. Don't go against them. Don't go and choose someone else. You would lose. And how we lose? Look at Muslim war today. And tell me what Muslim country we have no war. We have no conflict. We have no refugees. Well, just six hours ago. 200 immigrants from Libya, they drowned in the Mediterranean, six hours ago. Last, yesterday, in, 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 in Austria, Austria, 70 immigrants, they were suffocated in the truck. Did you see that? On the highway. 70 of them. 70 of them from Syria. This is misery. Because we lost our direction. When you follow the wrong leaders, this is the result. This is the result. Allah says, I intend happiness for you. I intend stability for you, progress, dignity, but you refuse me. You go after someone else. So then, then be responsible for yourself. Imam al-Ridha says, my followers, my Shia, have to be different in five qualities. This is what he says, his message. So, ila an khiyar al-ibad. He was asked, Ya Abna Rasulullah, who are the top people in the eyes of Allah? Not in the eyes of dunya and money and jewelry and business, no. In the eyes of God, who are the top? He said the top are those who have five qualities. Number one, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَحْسَنُ stepshow. أَحْسَنُ when you do something good, when you help, when you save, when you serve, when you give food, medicine, shelter, money, smile, advice to someone, you feel good inside. You don't have to tell people, oh people, I feel good today, I'm celebrating. You don't have. But inside you, you know that you did. You saved the dignity, the life of someone. So inside, you feel that you did something in this life. The second one day when they do a sin, violation, injustice, they insult someone, again inside, they feel the remorse inside. And they repent, istaghfar. They go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't leave it for a long period of time and they don't care. They care. They don't feel good about it. Inside, they did, even if people do not know about it, even if no one, nobody knows, they don't feel good about it. So they do istighfar immediately. Istighfar is to recover, recover. The third, وَإِذَا أُعْطُوا شَكَرُ When Allah gives you, Allah gives always. Since you opened your eyes this morning, Allah has been giving you, supplying you. Always, but we don't notice. We take, we take this for granted. I always say to the children, whatever food you get, eat, and say Alhamdulillah, Shukranillah. Because when you look at others who have no food, and no shelter, and no drink, and no life, and no father, and no house, then you know how much suffering we have. Whenever you receive anything, say Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah has given me. Allah did not leave me alone. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أُعْطُوا شَكَرُوا وَإِذَا ابْتُلُوا The fourth trait, وَإِذَا ابْتُلُوا صَبَرُوا My friends, this life is full of bala, affliction, and imtihan. Sometimes with sickness, sometimes with poverty, sometimes with the loss of friend, sometimes 
with being lonely alone, sometimes with divorce, sometimes with a conflict, sometimes with a neighbor, sometimes with a government. Ibtila, ibtila. People have different kinds of afflictions. But you have to have salt. Don't lose your faith. Allah says life continues. I created you to be strong. Don't, don't defeat yourself. وَإِذَا ابْتُلُوا صَبَرُوا And fifth, وَإِذَا غَضَبُوا وَإِذَا غَضَبُوا غَفَرُوا We get angry. I am the first one who gets angry. But then we have to forgive. Don't keep the anger, don't keep the hate in your heart. You keep the hate in your heart, you lose. Your enemy do not lose, you lose. The heart becomes an ailing heart, a sick heart. Keep the heart. Cleanse it with maghfir. How do you wash your heart? How do you purify it? With maghfir. Tell him, Allah lak. I will forgive you. Some people say, say it. It's hard for me to, to forgive. If it is hard for you to forgive, it will be also hard for Allah to forgive you. So if you want Allah to be easy going, immediately when you say, Astaghfirullah, Allah arhamni, forgive me, then you have to forgive. Teach. It is hard because you did not teach your heart to forgive. Once you teach your heart to forgive, it becomes easy. It becomes easy. You become like an Imam al riba alayhi salatu These are the five qualities of the mu'mineen and we have to be the mu'mineen, those who are here, because we are the followers, we are the proud to be the followers of the Prophet and his family, his Ahlul Bayt, Al Imam Al Rida. Please join me in reciting Amin Yujib. Many of our friends in the community asked me to remember them in the dua during these holy hours. So let's raise our hands and pray for them. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytan ar rajeem. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim. أمن يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء 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 أمن يجيب المضطر إلى دعاه ويكشف السوء يا الله من على مرضانا بالشفاء والعافية المرضى المنظورين اللهم ألبسهم ثوب الصحة والعافية اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج مولا سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان 